25,000 is a gift. People have to pay it back. How, how do you want to work? What's the catch? Because you're giving $25,000. What are we going to do with the money? Who's going to get the money back when they pay it? Yes, so I know how in one of these go. One of these non profit organizations or the person you're giving the money? Well, as was mentioned, these are not first, this is not the first type of program that has been uh, introduced either in the state or uh, in, in regionally. Massachusetts has a, has a strong program right now. I'll, I'll let uh, Carol, you know, I'm not sure the details about how it works and who's going to qualify, but uh, there's going to be, you know, qualifications just like there is in Massachusetts, uh, just like there are in other states. And again, this is not the first time that we've had assistance in terms of first time owner owner buyers. I mean, I think there was a $7,500 credit towards home ownership uh, 10 years ago that uh, helped uh, families get into home. So this is not a, this is not unusual, uh, and, but it will be done in a way that is, um, you know, that, that we have a certain procedure and, and qualifications will be followed and there'll be a process that will be accepting people into the, into the program, whether it's, it's up to $25,000 too, I believe, right? So. Like I was saying, we need to know what the money So it's um, a forgivable loan over a five year period. So if the home buyer stays in your home for five years, they get all of the benefit of the $25,000. Okay, and, and we are live. Go to our website, start applying. I know we've already had applications coming in, so please spread the word. Let's get the word out. It's great. Look at this beautiful home that someone could buy, right? And there's three more mm -hmm. coming, Linda. There so are. Let's let's spread the word, mm -hmm. right? And is the um, fifty million all going to be administered by Rhode Island Housing? And applications could come from here, from any of those communities that are listed in the. So this is a pilot program being administered by Rhode Island Housing with Rhode Island Housing Resources. We anxiously <coughs> await the $50 million that the governor wants to launch, right? And then we'll get that out the door. And this is a program that's really targeted to um, what we would consider to be lower opportunity areas. So Pawtucket, Central Falls, communities like that. The governor's program is statewide. Do you have uh, money in hand to begin this program? Yes, we do. How, how much are we talking We have a million dollars in the pilot. <clears throat> Ms. Lesnar, maybe you could, uh, F4 Coalition Radio, give us a, maybe a little education since we've got great education already today oh, in sorry. affordable housing. Yeah. How your organization works, I'm looking at your uh, 2020 Form 990, and I see a lot of confusing things to the, to the layman. Uh, development fees of $578,000, um, a half million dollars in federal grants, an executive salary of $100,000. Where, where does your organization make this money? And uh, maybe just lay that whole food chain out. Yeah, so us. our organization is 60% um, of our organization's budget is typically from fees we earn. Fees, that's developers' fees. So when we develop projects, we earn a fee for those projects. So 60% of that, the remainder are funds that we do through charitable foundations, um, grants that we write, Mm -hmm. um, all different sources that fill the gap for the needs that we do and the services that we provide in the community. So as a not-for-profit, it's been, I'm looking at that $400,000 in associated salaries in addition to that. How does, how does that money then, <clears throat> from the profit of this, and how much is the profit on a home like this, <clears throat> to your organization, how does that uh, drill down then to members of your organization or the public? So, I mean, as an organization, you need people to do the work. Right. So you have to have people to do the work. So what you're looking at are salaries for people to do the work. We're an organization of 10. We're probably one of the leanest nonprofits in the housing world in the state. So um, I would say that we need people to do the work. We need people to sell the houses. We need people to oversee the construction. We need people to handle the finance. We need people to handle our real estate development programs. That's exactly what the organization does. But I would say we're one of the most lean organizations in the state when it comes to housing. All right, so final question. What is, what, what is the takeaway from this? Is there a percentage charge to the sales price of the building to your organization? So as a nonprofit organization, just like a for-profit for -profit developer, you have a budget, you have a pro forma, there's a total development cost, and incorporated in that, there's a developer fee. And for an organization, that's what we do. We maybe make twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 for each one of these houses for the two years we spent on these projects. So again, it's the time the investment spent 
in qualifying all these buyers in moving these projects forward. Thank you. You're welcome.